Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask industry insiders deep, inquisitive questions and give them far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is Grammy Award-winning engineer producer Ryan Freeland. Ryan, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing, Daniel? I'm doing great, thanks. Okay, you know the drill. 30 seconds on the clock and then on to the next question. Are you ready? I'm going to do my best. Okay, question number one. How has the shutdown impacted your work? Well, obviously, your selection of uh, assistant engineers is a little less than what you normally get. But if you got in-person collaboration, this is better than nothing. And uh, it's kind of a drag because most of the stuff we do, I've been doing musically, like with Joe Henry and all those things, we were get, just getting started and they all got, uh, everything got put on hold. So it's kind of in a holding pattern, trying to see where things go and when they, uh, uh, when they release the, all the lockdowns and when we can start collaborating in person again. Which is great. Question two, what have you been doing to pivot and adapt your own skills to the current reality? Pivot, pivot. Well, besides hiring a new assistant, uh, I haven't been doing much. I mean, my experience in the music business is you get hired for your reputation and the records that you make and uh, things that you've done that people dig and just kind of waving and saying, hey, hire me because uh, uh, all these other things canceled uh, isn't necessarily going to get you more work. Though it might. I guess I could try it. It's just not really uh, something I like to do uh, because recorded music is so important to me. I really want to kind of... Question three, what do you think recovery is going to look like for our industry? Oh, recovery. Well, it's hard because touring's at a standstill, and a lot of independent records, I think, are funded by the touring. Um, and most people recording themselves, that's kind of a cool new thing, but it's like it forces the mix engineer to kind of deal with more uh, home recording style stuff. I thought, I was thinking this morning it might be cool, like a um, new technology is like the Townsend Lab Sphere mic. You could get people to record the actual microphone things, and then the mixer could uh, mess with those more. I think that could be kind of cool, like as an idea for how to end. Question four, what are you working on now? Uh, I did a really cool mix for uh, Anna Ash. I did a great record for this guy, uh, Ryan Tanner, uh, Beth Brown, a cool uh, uh, concept artist, uh, concept album by an artist named Nathan Jacques, and a bunch of stuff I'm not allowed to talk about. Um, and that's uh, and working with Joe Henry trying to get his uh, home studio going so we can keep collaborating. That's uh, basically it. Hey, I got that one down under in less than 30 seconds. What do you think? Yeah. Question five. If you could collaborate with one person, living or dead, who would it be? Uh, living or dead? Well, besides my new assistant, I think I would be collaborating. I'd like to collaborate with Alan Lomax. I was thinking last night, Ooh, like that would be cool. Yeah. We could we could go around the country with like a mobile rig and record all this great uh, all these great performances that are going on with people that can't get into studios, and uh, that that could be fun. I hey, look, you, ten seconds left. You, you got you, ten you seconds left on the clock, man. You're 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 just burning them <laughs> up, dude. Dang. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to put 30 seconds more on the clock and give you an opportunity to answer whatever question you wish I had asked you. Oh, my God, I don't have any. I'm not prepared for that question. Do you have any questions you wish you, he had asked you? Oh, I could, just, I could just come up with some frivolous one. How about um, if you could fill a swimming pool with anything but water, what would it be? Legos. Definitely Legos. Ouch. Yeah. Oh, that would hurt, man. It, but it'd be, uh, it'd be the, the way to go. That's true. Now, would you actually assemble them, or would you just throw them in there? You can make a slide. You can make a beach ball. You can do all sorts of things with Legos. That's what I'm thinking. You could almost like you could almost actually make a swimming pool out of Legos. Of course, it would leak and everything, but you know, a swimming pool. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, well, thank you for playing our game, and it's been a pleasure having you as a guest. And uh, that concludes this episode of Thirty Second Chances. Well, thanks for having us. We really appreciate the time.